time. Now Chase Briscoe is alongside. Pace car makes his way to pit road. Kyle, here we go. We're getting ready. The Geico restart zone is where the cars are. Will they get past turn number one? Two laps to settle it here at the Pocono Raceway, and it's going to be Cole Custer in the outside lane. Chase Briscoe staying right with them to the bottom as they are side by side and three wide behind them in turn one. Dragging way, drag racing their way to the turn. The advantage goes to Custer. Reddick busts a move. He crosses over to the bottom. Tyler Reddick takes the lead at the exit of turn number one. Custer back to second, then Briscoe in third. They will line up to the outside lane on the back stretch. Off the end of the back straight away into turn two. Tyler Reddick trying to hang on to the lead now that he's got it. And he's got his hands full. Here's Cole Custer trying to rally back with a shove from Chase Briscoe. Just a couple of car lengths separating the top two. You've got Tyler Reddick. Then you've got Cole Custer. Chase Briscoe. That's your top three. They're back in turn number three. To the bottom of the racetrack goes that Chevrolet Camaro. At the front of the field, it's Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick leads, but Cole Custer is bird dogging him off. Turn number three. They come off from turn number four, trying to break the draft. Custer hangs the left, hangs the right. Reddick down to the inside. Now Custer looks to the high side toward turn one to go. Reddick zigs and zags, bobs and weaves, and he's opened up a three car length advantage. Just a few laps to go. Cole Custer was up by 12 seconds. Now he's down by three car lengths. Reddick to the tunnel turn for the final time. Here comes Tyler Reddick now on the long pond straight away for the last time this afternoon. He leads by three car lengths. He goes left. He goes right. He's doing everything he can to keep Cole Custer behind him. Out front when it matters most, the Chevrolet Camaro, Tyler Reddick. Right behind him, Cole Custer in the Ford. He's going to have one more shot at Tyler Reddick. He'll close it down. He'll take a look down to the inside. He may not be close enough. Now again, he'll dive to the inside of Reddick. Here comes Cole Custer to the inside off of turn number three. We'll make the pass on Tyler Reddick and will win the Pocono Green 250 here at the Pocono Green. Way. What a move by Cole Custer in the final corner of the final lap to pick up his third win of the season. Let's go to pit road. All right, how about this? The happy dad, Joe Custer, just gave me a fist bump on this one. What about that last move with your son? I don't know. I, I was That was awesome. I, I, <laughs> oh, man, I got to thank Gene and all the, <laughs> the films guys. Cole just put on a clinic there. I, I'm really proud of him. And Mike Chiplett and all the team and all the guys at the shop. This stuff doesn't come easy, and that's a good racer we raced against there. And I, I love seeing he and Bell. That, that is, that is what this sport is all about, right there. There you go, Joe Custer, the happy dad of Cole Custer. He's going to victory lane here at Pocono. Picked up wins earlier this season in Fontana and Richmond. At a third win here today at the Pocono Raceway as he claims the win here this afternoon. Last lap, last corner pass on Tyler Reddick to win by just two tenths of a second.